We're trying to get to 80,000 subscribers, and when we do, two lucky individuals will get to pick five wallets each from the 400 or so wallets I have in my inventory. That includes those that have been reviewed and not reviewed yet. All you need to do is subscribe below. If you're not subscribed, do it now because you might be able to win five wallets of your choice from my inventory. We've reviewed the Wally 5.0, which is very well known for those who are familiar with Distill Union. But there are other wallets like the Wally Agent and Euro, the brother of the 5.0, honestly, which we'll review today and compare them at the end. And even if you use the Euro, I'll let you know my opinion if they even need this wallet any longer. So stick around. You're supposed to be a secret agent. Here we have the Distill Union Euro and the Agent Wallet. Let's look at the agent really quick. Typical packaging that we see in almost all wallet offerings from Distill Union. Tips for your wallet, nice. Great instructions. Oop, I just nicked that with my thumbnail on the way out. Alrighty, let's take a look. Very traditional bifold looking on this. This is the hickory color. Also comes in a ink, which is black, and slate, what they call it, which is gray. Uh, let's see, looks like we have some, something in here. Oh, there we go. Telling us a little bit about what these could do for us. Ooh, didn't mean to tuck it in that hard. All right, let's get rid of that. And let's see what else we have in here. Oh, another little card. I'm just gonna pull these out just like that, and we'll see if we can get this back in. Don't mind the man behind the curtain. All right. Sewing, hmm. a few things going on with this. All right, let's do it. And what I mean by that is, let's move on to the Euro Wallet. This comes in a box. Ugh. Slim Wallet Party, thank you. Set that aside, pull it out of the box, and here we go. This is the Euro. Looks very similar, doesn't it? To the Wally 5.0, which I happen to have right here, and we'll be comparing as we move forward. It too is the hickory brown color. And like the uh, Wally 5.0, it's got these interesting uh, entry points on the edges for cards, and it looks like we have one right here. Pull that out. Hmm. Discount codes, catch that, use it. Again, from a sewing perspective, very similar in all of Bellroy or uh, Distill Union's wallets here. Money clip. All right, moving on. Seriously, companies feel compelled to provide an RFID wallet because so many people have been brainwashed about them. Look in the notes below if you want to see a video that expresses my opinions on this. Now back to the wallets. As I mentioned, very traditional bifold design. There is nothing on the exterior. If we move to the interior, we have two interior card slots right here. Uh, really capacity up to two cards each. And then we have pull straps right here. One on both, uh, both sides actually uh, have a pull strap for additional cards, archive cards to be placed in here. Capacity of four cards in each. So if you're counting, yeah, that means that Distill Union recommends up to 12 cards in this wallet. Then of course we have the billfold pocket that's right here. This handles all currencies, all tall currencies, including the Euro and the Yen, and it has a capacity up to 30 notes. It measures 3.7 by 4 by 0.5, and it weighs 50 grams, or 1.8 ounces. All right, here we go. Swap this out for the Euro. We can see that we do not have anything on the exterior. However, we do have card slots at the end, and it uses a, what's called a flex technology for a flex closure and technology for extraction. No magnets, it just uses tension to open it up. And we can see that we have a pull strap over here for cards. On the opposite side, we do not have a pull strap. This really is for uh, coins as well as SIM cards, keys, whatever you whatever may. And again, being targeted towards larger currencies which are outside the United States, we do know that coins are used more frequently outside the US. Now the side over here with the pull strap, Eight card capacity over here, six additional cards, uh, 10 coins, for example, you can get quite a bit in here. Then of course we open this up, we have the money clip. This is a traditional spring clip that we see here and can hold up to 30 notes. 
as mentioned, and uh, you know, it's a very simple wallet, but designed for very specific purpose. It measures three or four by 3.5 by 0.6, and it weighs 63 grams or 2.2 ounces. Hang on, we're almost at the comparison between the Wally 5.0 and the Wally Euro. As you noticed, I got six cards in here, uh, eight slips of cash and you know, coins. Notice, just flip that open and all the coins come out easily. However, one thing to point is if you have these in here, oops, and you're testing to see if they're gonna fall out through. Oh my, look at that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe that is a problem here. Maybe they were getting caught on the top. Let's give it a benefit of the doubt. A lot of force will obviously cause them to fall out, but general use I think would still be okay. And it obviously works just fine with all these currencies. And of course, of course, the yen and the euro were our biggest concern here and it handles them like a champ. Well, let's take these uh, coins out. And I'm sure you're noticing something right over here where you get a peekaboo of your cards. Wait till we get to the Wally 5 l comparison. I'll show you about that. So, let's take a quick look at the agent. Minimalist care, and this is probably four cards recommended, uh, or I say, eh, I'd say reasonable is eight. Uh, Distill Union tells you you can get 12 cards in here. I put six, and eight slips of cash works like a champ. And as you saw, I pointed out the yen and the 100 euro note, which is actually being phased out and becoming a smaller currency. Uh, with that being the case, this wallet can handle everything that the euro can. Both of these wallets are designed in the United States and made in China. They're made from a leather, a full grain, veg tanned, actually, actually smells like chrome tanned. Mm, chrome tanned, still good. Yep, chrome tanned. Unlike the company's maglock design that we see in here with the Wally 5.0, we have the flex lock on this one here. So this is the, where it's the Man, this is a great fidget spinner. Anyway, uh, by applying pressure, you release the tension and then it locks back in place. As we all know, Distill Union has been using magnets in their wallets for years, and they really have figured out how to not affect your cards. The evolution of the Wally 4.0 to the 5.0 solves several issues which still plague the Euro, like this. And we'll show you how that does not happen here in the Wally 5.0. Now, both the Euro and the Agent have nylon lining. Right here, for example, you can see it, it's that gray. It also is on the interior here uh, with these cards and in the card slots. And it's uh, no different from what we see here in the Euro. It's got the same, th or in, yeah, in the Euro right here as well as the Agent. Both the Euro and the Agent come in at $80 for their cost. And both also come with a 30 day refund policy and a one year manufacturer's warranty. Now from a usability perspective, let's talk about the agent. More of a traditional bifold as I've mentioned, and we miss the benefit that we see from magnets like we have in other Wally wallets. I'd love to see this be able to close and maintain itself that way. And it, uh, it just seems to work really well. One of the things that's really interesting about this, unlike many other wallets, is the pass-through for this strap. Generally the pass-through is always on the bottom and it's attached to the bottom of the wallet. This one, it's attached, if, you, if I can get a good view of it here, it's attached at the top. So at the top, you can see it has that little bridge pass through there. So what happens is instead of cards being inserted above the strap, it's actually inserted below the strap. This is very smart because it solves a problem that we see often where that little bridge on the bottom begins to interfere with cards being pushed in. In this case, it doesn't because you put the card down on the bottom naturally, slide it in, and the strap bridge is across the top. One of the problems, however, is that the pass-through bridge is very, very thin. You can get a feel for it right there. 
just a, a small strip. And so over time, I would expect this would pull through. I can't see that lasting a super long time. So now let's take a look at the Euro. We've got the Euro here, similar to other Wally wallets, it uses the flex lock. Uh, I've been obviously playing with this quite a bit. Um, and we took you through the coin test shake that didn't really work very well. Remember, these are not magnets that are here. So what's the difference between the Euro and the Wally 5.0? Well, let's go into it really quick. There are several differences, but two primary ones that stick out. First, the Wally has two additional card slots right here on the interior. And as we can see and we know through the review, the Euro does not. It has no interior card slots. I would love to see that as a secondary option for storing cards. Second is the money clip. As we can see, and one thing I really love, and uh, the shining star of the 5.0 is the stainless steel, uniquely designed money clip. I look forward and really enjoy the unique designs makers put into the money clips, but the Euro, however, has just this traditional and very common spring-based money clip. It, it is in there pretty tight, so it's not gonna just come out easily, but that's something I really don't quite like. Now, a little bit uh, thing that, we, that I mentioned is, that you have these cards that bump up against the top of the wallet. And even though you have your flex lock in here, that's still really concerning. Well, the 4.0 on the Wally used to have the same problem, but with the Wally 5.0, I'm gonna get some cards in here to give it some structure, you can put these in and watch how they disappear. See that? And then also notice how the pull strap is also magnetic, so it's out of the way. I just, I really like that. And of course, then the whole wallet closes shut. These simple adjustments make the Wally 5.0 far superior in many different ways, and I think gives them a direction for other wallets. So will the Euro be a long-term offering for Distill Union? Well, the answer is no, because they say so on their website. It's being phased out. Now, while the Euro takes on the Wally 5.0 features of the end cap cards, you know, the pull strap, the agent also handles, right here, tall currencies in a more traditional bifold method. Additionally, tall currencies like the Euro and Pound are phasing out their taller currency notes, and that pretty much leaves the Yen. But, you know, if the Yen ever reduced its height, there would be no need for these additional types of wallets. But does it provide enough market to justify it is the issue. And the answer is no. So the Euro is still available if you want to get it, but you need to act fast. Now onto the final score. Both these wallets came out with the same score. Quality of four, price of two, both pretty expensive at $80. Features of three, they function. Usability of four, they're easy to use, although we do see some concerns with the Euro and the coins, the flex lock. Uh, with coins falling out, that kind of thing, and cars peeking their head out. Usability, uh, again, a four, I st still think is pretty good. Perception of four, and that gives us a final score for both of 35 out of 50. If you like this video, watch this one next. Now, overall, Distill Union products are excellent in design and construction, and these really are no different. So we'll see you in the next review. Bye.